Greetings and salutations everybody, my name is Andrew Kirchhoff and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about fantasy football top 10 kickers, ranking, kicker rankings. Um, oh man, how about that? I've come, I've gone to the depths of ranking kickers. What, I don't know where I'm at, this is an episode of the Twilight Zone to be honest. Um, the kicker position, you know. It's, it's one that a lot of, you know, leagues have abolished. They don't want the randomness of kickers. They don't want the randomness of defenses, like I said in my defensive video. And to be honest, you know, I somewhat agree but disagree. I play in both. I play in leagues with kickers, without kickers. But, you know, if you do play in a league with kickers, there's nothing, nothing wrong with it. I like it. I like getting an extra 15 points from a guy who, you know, helps out his offense, right? So anyway, um, what are we looking for when I'm ranking kickers? What am I looking for? I'm looking for an offense that is going to score points, right? Um, an offense that's good enough to get down the field and, you know, set up a kicker to make some some field goals that are, are prime enough to whether it be a 50-yarder, 40-yarder, 30-yarder, 20. It doesn't matter, right? You need an offense that's going to get down the field and score, right? And then you need a kicker that has range, right? And is not going to be a bum and shank three field goals in a game. I don't want to see any of that. I hate that. That's just so, 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 oh, my goodness. Uh, it's just, it's like secondhand embarrassment. Like, I watch a kicker miss a field goal. And I'm thinking, how do they pay you to do this job? But then you somehow manage to mess it up. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, how's it going, guys? Let's get the bottle of water out of the way. Okay, so, number one ranked kicker, right? We have St Steven Goskowski. Uh... Sorry, Stefan Goskowski. This is the way I see it, okay? I'm only going to be talking about, in detail, two kickers, okay? Stefan Goskowski, right? Why am I talking about him in detail? Well, he's a part of the Patriots offense who's going to score a bunch of points, right? Plain and simple, okay? Last season, he was 37 for 40 on field goals, okay? And he had a 62-yard field goal at long. as his longest field goal last season, right? I think that grabbing a guy like this He's probably going to be the number one run ranked um, kicker on many boards because, you know, as soon as the Patriots come downfield, all they need to do is get a couple penalties, you know, incomplete pass, boom, here goes a field goal, right? They're an offense. The Patriots are an offense that are going to get down the field consistently. And even if they score, you get, a, you get one point generously via PAT. Um, I think Goskowski is probably one of the most consistent kickers in the NFL to date. Um He's probably going to go down as one of the best because it's just, just how honestly good he is, right? He's got good range. He's got good consistency. His percentages are good. And to be honest, there's nothing bad to say about him. That's why I have him on my number one ranked kicker this coming season. Plain and simple. I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know how else to analyze kickers, right? It's almost, uh, it's, I'm going to get redundant after a while. So we'll, you'll see where I get to this, right? So, the number two ranked kicker I have on my list, I got Justin Tucker, okay? You know, a couple years back, he was the best kicker in football. Um, I think he still could be the best kicker in football. Um, it's just there's a couple things that are preventing him from doing so, right? Last season, the Ravens offense was not great, right? They didn't do any favors for, you know, Justin Tucker. They didn't get the ball down the field as much. Um, but he was really good in 2016, right? In 2016, he was 10 for 10 from the 50-yard line and beyond, okay? 10 for 10 on 50-yard field goals, right? Last season, only made five, okay? He had seven attempts and missed two, so he's five for seven. I mean, that right there, if you play in a, you know, standard league where you don't touch kicking points, a 50-yard field goal is five points, okay? He had five more, you know, 50-yard field goals in 2016 than he had in 2017. There goes 25 points. That makes him the number one kicker, right? Stuff like that, you know? Just because the offense was lacking, they couldn't even get to the 50, you know, um, to get a 50-yard field goal, you need to get to the, give or take, what, like 40-yard line? Or, what, 35-yard line? I don't know what it is. But you got to get down the field. Joe Flacco's got to move the ball, and they've got to get in range for Justin Tucker. They didn't do him any favors last season, but I still think he's the number two ranked kicker because he is the best kicker in the league, right? Stefan Gonkowski might be... A guy that, oh, you know, he's going to be the number one ranked in fantasy. But Justin Tucker is the best kicker in football, plain and simple. Um, other than that, you know, I think um, it, it honestly it depends on your offense, right? 
That's why I'm only going into detail with these two kickers because it's going to express it, right? Stefan Goskowski, yes, he's a good kicker, but he's on really good offense. Justin Tucker is the best kicker in the NFL, but he's on a mediocre offense, right? And the points from last season, it showed. Stefan Goskowski, if I'm not mistaken, had, um, I think, almost 20 more points fantasy-wise. Let's go ahead and check this out really quickly um, just so I can confirm. But it, there was a, a pretty big difference between the two. Last season, De- Stefan Goskowski uh, had 172 fantasy points at the kicking position. Oh, it was only 10-point difference. Ah, it's not a big deal. What's 10 points? It's like not even a point a week. What are we talking about? We're talking about kickers here. Anyway, let's keep moving on uh, to my number three ranked kicker. We have Matt Bryant, a guy that is literally 43 years old. He's still kicking in the NFL at 43. He's an animal. Uh, Matt Bryant, his field goal long, his longest field goal ever made, right? 59 yards. He had one uh, at 62 yards, but that was in 2006. So I was like, all right, that does not count. There's no way that counts. That was almost, it was more than 12 years ago. So we're not going to, we're not getting there, okay? So I think, you know, Matt Bryant's my number three. He's a part of a good offense. He has consistently shown that he can kick 50-yard field goals. I've seen him score 18 fantasy points in a week before. Um, this guy's my number three kicker for this year. I'm not going into much detail. I'm just going to run through these guys. Number four, I got Greg Zerline. He was the leading kicker last season with 182 fantasy points because of how potent that um, Rams offensive um, attack was, right? The Rams uh, offense averaged 29.9 points per game. And Greg uh, Zerline scored 182 fantasy points last season. Who was He was the most, right? Uh, I think he was, if I'm not mistaken, let's check. Uh, he was like 12 points more than Robbie Gould, who was the, the second most, right? Or was it Stefan Goskowski? I don't remember. I just looked at it, I swear, but I just I already lost my memory. Why? Because we're talking kickers. Okay, we've come down to the depths of the kicker. Anyway, uh, I think Greg Zerline is my number four. I like him this season. He, I mean, he used to be known as Legatron, right? Legatron, not Calvin, Megatron, Johnson, but he's Legatron, right? A part of this good offense is going to consistently score. I like Greg Zerline um, this coming season. He's a pretty good kicker, plain and simple, okay? Number five, we've got Will Lutz. Again, another player within a good offense, right? The Saints are going to score points, plain and simple, right? Will Lutz, uh, his longest field goal is 57 yards. A little bit less range than the other guys, but... The Saints get down the field and they score, right? Uh, Will Lutz has been doing it for the last couple seasons. Uh, I think he's been in the league for almost two years now. This is going to be his third year. And he's been consistently a pretty good kicker, uh, good percentages. And, you know, the team trusts him and he he follows through, plain and simple. Will Lutz. Um, Number six, I got Matt Prater. Okay, Matt Prater. So real quick, I went and looked at his longest field goal ever made. 64 yards, but that was when he was in Denver. Doesn't count. I don't care. Doesn't count. Uh, his longest field goal while with the Denver, uh, sorry, not Denver, with the Detroit Lions, 59 yards in the dome at the um, in Detroit. So, I don't know. Matt Prater's a good kicker. The way I see it, actually, I'll get to my final remarks as we get there. Otherwise, we're going to keep going, okay? Number seven, Chris Boswell, a guy that got signed for a new four-year contract for like $20 million. They're giving this man the paper. Uh, because he produces right in the playoffs, this guy is a- asked to make field goals left, right, and center. Because honestly, there's some games that the uh, the Pittsburgh offense just disappears and they can't get in the red zone. So Chris Boswell comes in, kicks a couple field goals, bada boom. Uh, Chris Baldwell, uh, Boswell's longest field goal is only 53 yards. Little bit concerning, but it is what it is. Jake Elliott, um, rookie last season, I got this pitch perfectly because this was the um, the 61-yard field goal that he had made to beat the uh, New York Giants last season, that was his longest field goal of the season. Again, another guy on a good offense that is going to score points, gets downfield, and it produces fantasy value. Um, the number nine kicker, I got Graham Gano this year. You know, I, I thought to myself, I can't be talking so much about the Carolina Panthers unless I'm going fully in on them. I think the Carolina Panthers' offense is going to be great. And I think Graham Gano is going to be the number nine kicker this year because of it. Okay, and number ten, the last kicker I'm going to talk about. We're making this short and we're making it sweet. Harrison Buckner, um, rookie last season, came in after uh, Cairo Santos got injured for the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, Harrison was was clutch. You know, 
53 yard field goal was his long last season, but he was extremely efficient and he helped this team win games multiple times with his leg. I like Buckner because I think this offense, as much as I've put doubt into it, this Kansas City Chiefs offense is going to be good enough to score points and they're going to be productive um, throughout the entire season, right? Okay, so my final remarks, okay, really quickly. I'm going to read a couple stats, okay? On a points per game average, okay, real quick. Let's go ahead and make myself... Ooh, excuse me, sorry about that. Can we... Boop. Okay, we're a little bit bigger. Okay, so on a points per game average, right? The stat that I want to go ahead and read for y'all, okay? Number one, as I said, the Rams um, averaged the most points scored per game with 29.9. Greg Zerline last year was the number one kicker. Makes sense. Number two last season, points scored per game. The Patriots, okay? That makes sense. Steven Goskowski was the number two kicker last year. Number three, the Eagles with 28.6 points per game. Jake Elliott was a top eight kicker last year, right? Um, number four, the Saints, 28 points per game. Will Lutz, right? The Chiefs at number six, um, 25.9 points per game. Harrison Buckner on your screen. Number seven, points per game scored, 25.6 by the Detroit Lions. I talked about Prater. You know, the Pittsburgh Steelers, 25, uh, number eight, with 25.4 points per game. Chris Boswell, right? Number nine, we had the Ravens with points per game. The Ravens scored points per game. How, I don't know how they scored that many. 24.7 points per game. It helps. Justin, uh, yeah, Justin Tucker. Boom, right there. Okay. Number 13 was the Carolina Panthers last year with points per game with 22.7. I think it's going up this year. And Atlanta, they had their little Super Bowl hangover last season with the 15th, uh, 15th ranked in points per game with 22.1. I think it's going up also with that. Um, I'm telling you, pick a kicker depending on their offense. If the offense is going to score points, guys, then the kicker is going to score points. I sometimes even like to um, make combos where, like, if I have Andrew Luck, I also want Adam Minitari because I want all the points that Andrew Luck is leaving on the field, right? He didn't end up, you know, converting on third and ten. It's fine. Here comes Adam Vinatieri to take some points, you know. I like to combo it like that because then it'll make me feel a little bit better, right? Maybe that's not the best idea, but it really doesn't matter. Pick a kicker depending on how good the offense is. Don't pick the kicker because he's the best kicker in the NFL. Look, because as you can see, um, Justin Tucker didn't play that well last season because the offense of the Ravens weren't amazing. You want to pick a kicker depending on how good the offense is. That's all I can pretty much say. I want to thank everybody for watching. Um, this was the shortest video I've ever made. But rightfully so. We're talking kickers. I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. I hope your drafts go perfectly. I hope everybody is extremely excited because I'm excited for my drafts tomorrow. I got a bunch of them. Um, it's going to be extremely, extremely fun. And I can't wait for this season to start. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this episode. Are kickers even worth it? Should we even be playing with kickers anymore? Right? Should we just go ahead and get rid of that position? Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, um, I'll see you guys later.